Okay, we want to learn that why uh, anything over, like why one over zero, why it is infinity. So I'm taking an example here, y is equal to 10 over x, okay? Now here is x and here it is y. Now, uh, I'm going to take the values like uh, I'll keep here, um, I'll take x as 100, then I'll take x as 10, then I'll take it as one, then I'll take it as 0.1. You can have your calculators with you, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Okay, and maybe 0 0.0001. Okay, and when it goes to zero, what will happen? So what is 10 over 100? When I put X as 100 here, what is 10 over 100? 10. 10 over 100 is going to be 1 over 10, which is going to be 0 0.1. Okay, so Y is 0.1. Then, when you have y is equal to 10 over 10, so that will be one, okay? Now when you are increasing, uh, I mean decreasing the denominator, look what's happening to the values of y. Okay, when you have x as one, so this is y is equal to 10 over one. You see, this is going to become 10 now, okay? When you have your x as, uh, 0.1. So y is going to be 10 over 0.1. So what is 10 over 0.1? 100. That is 100. 100. Yeah. So this becomes 100. Okay. Similarly, when it is y is equal to 10 over 0 0.01. So what is that? Thousand. That is a thousand. Okay. Similarly, this will become 10,000. This will be 100,000. You see that this is such a small number that, that you're dividing this 10 with, okay? And your answer is such a big value, okay? So if you, like, let's say you take 0 0.00001, so that would be 1 million, okay? So if you keep on decreasing this denominator and when it approaches to zero, this approaches to infinity. So that is why, uh, like, you know, when you have 10 over zero, so this 10 over zero will be infinity. So you can generalize that if you have any number, if there is anything that is over zero, so that is going to be infinity. Got it, boys? Yes.